creating consistent content used to feel like a full-time job and not the fun kind. I'd spend hours each week writing, scheduling, and reposting just to keep my social feeds alive, or somebody else would. Then I discovered the social planner and content queue system inside of Go High Level. Now I build evergreen content once and it keeps working for me week after week. This feature helps me and our clients set up content libraries that recycle evergreen posts automatically so your feed never goes dark. This is amazing if you're tired of the content treadmill. I use it every week to plan ahead, stay visible, and keep engagement up without burning out. Now there's no course for sale here, no high ticket funnel at the end of this video. It's just a real tool that's helping real business owners show up consistently. And I wanted to show you how to use it too. If you find this helpful, please like and share the video with someone who's ready to work smarter on social media. Let's take a look inside and set this up. All right, so if you're not familiar, this is the social planner in high level, and we are actually looking at my live account once again. When you come into the main menu of high level under marketing, the first tab here is the social planner. There are a lot of features in this social planner. And I mean, there's there's some of the basic things that you would expect. You can schedule posts, you can post to multiple platforms at once. However, there's a couple of features that are I feel underutilized. And one of them has to do with content cues. When you're posting, you can preset categories in the social planner here under settings. And then when you're posting your content, and we'll go back to the planner for just a second, and I will show you one that is scheduled. First of all, you'll notice that the color coding here, that has to do with the content categories. If we go back to a post, that is scheduled, you will see that this is currently under marketing tips. That's the content category. And it's important to choose this when they're scheduled because you cannot do it after the fact. I'm hoping they'll change that soon, but currently you can't. So you gotta build your cues. You create your categories when you schedule your posts, you put them in those categories. And then once you have a few builds up in a category, you can create these category cues. Right now I'm waiting for a few more posts to build up in there. I personally would like to see 15 to 20 posts before I start turning these on. But let's go ahead and look at the settings here. Right now I have eight posts and I have it set for once per week, but it's still in draft mode. And these are all the content that is in my marketing blogs category. But if I go into edit, you can actually see and edit the content once it's in here. You just have to make sure you categorize it at the time you schedule it. So I can edit this. I can actually create another variation, maybe with a different image or a little different copy. I can choose which platforms it's going out to. Maybe I don't want certain platforms on certain posts. So all that can be edited after the fact. Just make sure it gets into the category when you schedule it. So I have several here. Like I said, they can all be updated and edited. When I'm happy with this queue, I can say queue posts and it will turn them on and it will start. These ones look like I have them set up for Mondays at 6 a.m. So every Monday at 6 a.m., something from this queue will go out automatically. I can also add new posts to this queue and make sure that they go out first. So this category will continue to build. This changes the game in the sense that you can go from having to post a blog once a week to just adding to your blog category once a month, knowing that your existing blog posts are already pre-scheduled to go out once a week. For me, huge. All right, so let's look real quick at setting up a new category. So under posts, you do new category. You choose one that already has some, pro some posts in it are obviously the ones that are already set up in queue I can't choose and ones that are empty I actually can't choose so I have to choose something like lead magnets right so these are obviously promotional we would want to have a lot of these ready and we would want to have a lot of other content going out during the week before we just started putting promotional content out there frequently but anyway this is the one I'm going to choose all right, enable future posting and prioritize new content. This is what's going to add that new content as we put new things in the queue. We hit continue. We choose, I want this to go out Sundays at 12. Sure, I'm not going to mess with that right now. Don't really care about it. But I could actually add this. If this was tips or questions or videos, you could actually 
add multiple days. So you could say, I wanted to go out on Tuesday and Sunday. Maybe I wanted to go out every day of the week. I could even add another time. I could have it go multiple times per day, which I would not recommend on LinkedIn, but that's a whole nother conversation. All right, so this to me would be overkill for sure. I probably wouldn't have a category queue set up to go more than twice a week. So let's just leave it at that. Obviously 12 a.m. is a terrible time, but that's okay too. All right, queue posts. And now you see that it was saying I had three because it was posted across three channels. I really have one post here. I can create a variation like I was saying. And now I'm going to have variation one, variation two. I'm going to save that. It's going to show here that I have two variations. I can change where I want this to go. I'm also going to add it here. So now it's going to be four places. I save my changes. That shows that it's been updated. I can preview this and see what it looks like across all platforms. All right, now I'm not really ready to turn this on. So I'm just gonna hit back. And you're gonna notice that now I have lead magnets in draft. And it tells me it's got one post in it and it's supposed to go two times per week. Now in this one, I'm actually going to delete. All right, so that is the category queue process in the social media planner of High Level. I hope you found this valuable. I hope you like and share the video. Also, if you're not already a high level user, I hope you'll consider using our affiliate link found in the comments. Or if you're curious about signing up with our agency, Marktex Engine, that link's there as well. And we'd love to have you. All right. Thanks so much.